Okay, part A, sketch the secant line negative 5 to 6. Okay, well, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So here's negative 5. So that's negative 5, and then 6, uh, 2, 4, 6. So what's being requested is that here's a point on the plot and here's another point on the plot. Part A, what's being requested is to sketch this line. So I'll sketch it in red. Okay, so that's part A. Part B, find the average rate of change. So this is the slope of the secant line. So this can be obtained just by counting. So the distance between 6 and negative 5 is 11. So the change in x is 11. And then the change in y, 1, 2, 3, change in y is negative 3. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And therefore, the answer that we're looking for, the change in y divided by the change in x, is negative 3 over 11. <coughs> Find the equation of the secant line. <coughs> okay. Well, the slope of the, se the slope of the secant line. equal to negative 3 over 11. And then a point on the secant line is either one of those two, but I'll use this one since it has positive values. So how about 6, 3? Therefore, y minus y1 is m x minus x1. So y minus 3 is negative 3 over 11 times x minus 6. y minus 3 is negative 3 over 11. x plus 18 over 6. Uh, no, plus eight, 18 over 11. y is negative 3 over 11 x <coughs> plus 18 over 11 and then plus 3 but 3 is 33 over 11 so that would be 40 uh, 51 over 11 so negative 3 over 11 x plus 51 over 11. Let's see if that is reasonable. So 51 over 11, that's about 5. Uh, so that's uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's reasonable. So let's see, 51 over 11. 4.6, yeah, looks good.